what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy bt and i think we got some pretty good news today now what we've been working on is a series of of, of troubleshooting to try to identify exactly why this car has not been starting so we've had some various things we've changed the battery we've changed the cam sensor we've changed the uh crank sensors We've changed a lot of things trying to address an issue, but one of the codes, one of the codes that have been addressed is the one that I'm showing you right here, right now. It's the U1000, okay? That particular code, I've been trying to troubleshoot and figure out what it is. I had talked to a particular individual. They mentioned that it's probably being caused by a short. So I visually inspected the area, inspected these grounds in here, there's another ground right under there. It's kind of hard to see with the light right now, but there's another ground right in there. I inspected that ground. Everything looked good. And then this time around, I said, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna just pull, we're gonna pull this entire cable. So what I did was I disconnected the entire ground cable from the battery. And although it visually looked fine, I guess that was the cause of that particular code. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to clear that code and we'll go from there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen this. We're gonna loosen this. Okay, with those loose, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna loosen we're gonna loosen the positive side. Okay. So then, with this loose, we're gonna take this off, tuck it, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the positive side off. And we're good there. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the 10. We're gonna loosen this right here. And then while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and just take this clip out. I'm gonna loosen this, take this bolt out. Okay, with that loose, then we're gonna go back to our 12. So the first bolt that was loosened here, this is a 12. So we're gonna get a 12. We loosen this. The one down below here, that's a 10. And then if we go, we're gonna go right here. This is a 12, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna remove that. And then the last piece, if you can see right here, there's this little section here with the little tabs. You just squeeze, and you're able to take out this entire wire. Okay, so here's the process that I took. I unscrewed this all the way, once you take this off, you'll be able to uh, remove, remove this piece here that connects to the battery. And then you'll also be able to slide out this entire uh, ground wire. Now, if you want, you can actually just go ahead and replace it. If it's, if it's something that you need to replace, this is the particular part number here on this Titan. But what I ended up doing was I got a wire brush and I cleaned it. So even though visually they did not look corroded, I took the wire brush and I brushed this until it was shiny. Anything that contacted with a mounting point, I brushed this up, cleaned it up nice and good. And also this. Also took the brush and cleaned this up as well. Anything that was metal to metal contact, was taken to the wire brush until it was nice and it had a nice little sheen and shine to it to make sure we're getting a good contact, good ground established. And I cleaned this up as well, making sure that it was it was looking uh, a lot shinier than it did. It looked a little dull, so we cleaned that up. We took the wire brush just to the post here. Even though this is a new battery, clean that up. We uh, did a little bit of brush up right here on that uh, mounting spot and then I took the brush and I also cleaned 
the spot where it mounted here onto the engine. And I cleaned that up nicely. And then I took the brush and cleaned this up. Again, visually, none of these look like they had any visual corrosion or anything, a white powder or any of that stuff there. But we did that just to clean it up. And uh, what I noticed is that after reassembling, I ran the diagnostic tool and the code went away. The two codes that were stored in that HVAC that I showed you earlier, they went away. So let's go ahead and uh, get everything back together. So after much troubleshooting, it looks like that negative battery cable is the true culprit of that U1000. So U1000 code that I was getting before off the diagnostic tool. So I'm happy to say, I believe that that fixed the issue. I did drive the truck, turned it off, put some gas in it. When I proceeded to restart the vehicle, I started getting that not wanting to uh, crank sound once again. So there is still something that needs to be resolved in this, but as far as the short is concerned, as far as that U1000 code is concerned, as far as whatever code else was in that HVAC module testing uh, set of tests, I believe that problem has been resolved. So changing out that battery, uh, that negative battery cable or cleaning it up should get you a healthy, nice, solid connection that will alleviate that code that you're seeing before. So we were able to solve another problem. There's still other issues to solve related to this issue, or maybe it's a combination of all the problems that we've seen, but we're addressing them one by one, and hopefully we'll be able to associate certain symptoms with certain issues that we're seeing so that when you have an issue, you'll know exactly what to tackle. It's your boy, BT. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Right now, the channel is self-funded, so anything you can do with that like, share, and subscribe is definitely gonna help out the channel, so make sure to do that, and I think we're done with this video, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you